I wondered if you'd given any thought to my offer of work. I uh, uh, haven't had much time. I'm surprised. Don't seem to have that much on at the moment. What are you doing here? Come to have a word with Sid. What, again? What are you playing at? As I told you before, if I can help you move, I will. Oh, you found us somewhere else to live, have you? What's going on? You better ask Fancy Pants here. It's nothing for you to worry about. I've got my eye on you, lady. <sighs> Back off, Charles. If you believe anything that woman says, you're a mug. No, ain't it about time you went to work? Look, come on. Come on. <sighs> Sorry. You've done nothing wrong. Um, I'd like to apologise. What for? Well, um, you walked in on that row between Chaz and I. Kind of been pleasant for you. Yeah, well, you were hassling her and she's a mate. She's been really good to me. So, where do you work? I take it you're on your lunch hour? The factory. Really? You don't strike me as factory fodder. Yeah, well, I messed up my exams, didn't I? And have you not looked for anything else? You know... My family employs a lot of people. But are you trying to bribe me? <laughs> no, I wouldn't insult your intelligence. But there may be some jobs coming up. I'd keep my eyes open if I were you. Don't rule it out just because I suggested it. Think what's best for you. What she want? She just said she was sorry about the row this morning. You are. It's true. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Betty says you can have the house, but you've got to keep your muddy boots off the furniture and you've not to soil her antimacassars. Well, if she tells me what they are, then I won't. <laughs> uh, Sid, I, uh, I told Tom you were moving out and he was thrilled. Great. So, um, watch this space, huh? Yeah. Oh, she is gorgeous, isn't she? Don't do anything for me. Shut up. You wouldn't say no. And she thinks she can do what she wants just because she's got a bit of money. So? So I'm not impressed. Fair. 